For many, payday is the best day of the month. This is the day when you receive your paycheck and decide how to spend it. You may choose to buy new shoes, dine at a new restaurant, or plan a vacation, but before you know it, you're broke again. When it comes to payday, it's hard to know the best way to manage our money. Although it might seem straightforward, more than 40% of US adults live paycheck to paycheck, which means that many of us don't have a solid payday routine. In today's video, I will teach you nine things you should do with your money when you get paid. Number one, plan ahead. Planning ahead of time will set you up for success. Don't wait till your paycheck arrives to decide what to do with it. Have a list of the bills you pay beforehand, when they are due, and the amounts owed. Know which pay period each bill is being paid from and consider spreading your payments equally. A good place to start is reviewing your last pay period to get a better understanding of how much you made and the breakdown of your paycheck. Having a sense of these numbers before payday will come in handy as you map out both your payday routine and budget. You should also review your budget and financial goals before you get paid. By doing this, you ensure you don't blow through your paycheck once it hits your bank account. Number two, create a budget. Budgeting is simply telling where your money will go every month and what your financial goals are. This may be money used for savings, investing, debt repayments, bills, and leisure. Decide how much will go, where, and how often. Setting up a budget ensures you can make the most of your paychecks by knowing how much money is coming in and going out. A practical approach to budgeting is the 50-30-20 rule. Dedicating 50% of your income to essential needs, 30% to personal wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. This method provides a balanced framework but remains flexible to accommodate your unique financial situation. While budgeting can feel laborious, it can also set you up for success when it comes to tracking your spending, saving money and paying for expenses, like bills or occasional splurges for special events like holidays or birthdays. Number three, pay yourself. Once you've created your budget, it's now time to pay yourself. This means that you prioritize your savings by automating your bills and savings every month. From there, you can track your spending for that pay period, make any necessary changes to your budget, and review your progress on your financial goals. You can also try implementing the cash envelope method. Simply put, you divvy up your income into envelopes that represent different spending and expense categories, such as groceries, food, clothing, or gas. The point is to only spend the available cash in each envelope for each category until the next pay period. This gives you a better sense what's going out and what's coming in over an extended period of time when it comes to your money. Number four, pay your debt. Debt repayment should be a non-negotiable aspect of your payday routine. Ensuring timely payments is crucial, not only for maintaining a healthy credit score, but also for mitigating the accrual of interest and fees. Prioritize high interest debts to minimize long-term costs. Employing strategies like debt snowball or avalanche methods based on your personal preference and financial situation. Number five, pay the mandatory bills. Identify your must-pay expenses. Prioritize your bills between your needs and your wants and try to indulge in the wants less. Mandatory living expenses like rent, food, and transportation costs can take the biggest portion of your income. Once you have earmarked money to pay for your living expenses, you can include other essentials like loan and debt repayment, which could impact your credit report. Number six, embrace automation. When you receive your paycheck, consider automating your savings and bill payments. Set up automatic transfers to your savings or investment accounts, ensuring a portion of your income is directly allocated to your financial goals. Automating these processes can help you stay on track and simplify your financial management. Number seven, budget for fun. Make sure your budget includes some fun too. After paying your bills, plan how you'll spend any money left on things you enjoy, like hobbies or outings. It might feel like there's not much left for fun, but balancing enjoyment with your financial goals is key. This way, you're working towards a better future without missing out on life's pleasures. Number eight, plan any big spending for the month. If you expect to make a big purchase this month, then it's good to give it some time and plan for it. You should consider if you really need it or you simply want it if it's the right time to buy it or the season and if the timing is after a big sales holiday such as Black Friday. Based on that, you can make an educated decision if you should proceed with your purchase or if it is not the right time for it. Number nine, stick with it. Financial habits like payday routines are meant to be maintained, but sticking with a routine can be difficult. Life can get busy and unexpected expenses can pop up. 
If you have a challenge with sticking to your payday, make it a routine of scheduling regular check-ins with your finances. You can set them as recurring events in your calendar so you commit to them no matter what. The biggest pitfall people tend to face when establishing a payday routine is simply starting off strong, but then straying from their routine. You have to stay committed and motivated to maintaining your money routines until they become a habit. And there you have it, a straightforward guide to managing your money wisely every payday. Remember, consistency is key and every small step counts towards achieving your financial goals. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please hit the like button, share with friends and subscribe for more financial insights. Here's to making smarter financial choices, one payday at a time. See you in the next one.